Today I'm going to show you how I make this look like this. This is two boat seats. And in this video I'm going to show you how I fix this cracked vinyl fabric. I'm going to change just that part that is cracked and not upholster the whole seat. And I have chosen a vinyl that's similar to the old one in color. But if you want to change look on your boat seat, it's a good opportunity to, for example, pick another color. I'm starting with unscrewing the screws and remove the staples. I'm starting to cut out the part I'm going to replace and I did it just because it was easier for me to, to remove the upholstery this way. And this middle part in the back is attached with nails that I had to remove also. And I used a staple plier, but I think you should use, for example, a pincer instead. And now the frame is clean. I make some marks before I'm finishing cutting out the part I'm replacing. These marks makes it easier when you're sewing this part together later on. And then I'm finishing cutting. And as you see here, I'm also cutting off the seam allowance and that's because the vinyl was cracked and it can be a bit worn next to the seam. And this part here I have to remove with a seam ripper. I cut the part I'm replacing in four parts and use as a template. And this was the way it was done before, so I do it the same way. And because I cut off the seam allowance as I showed you before, I have to put on 2 cm instead of 1 when I'm cutting out this vinyl part. And here you see all the four parts. Sew the four parts together. And then you make a decorative stitch.
And here you see the result of that. The seams on the middle part in the back was not good, so I made new seams where the old ones had been. I used the same stitch len length as it was before. And if you don't want to attach the thread by sewing back and forward, you can do like this. Make the last stitch and then pull the thread to the back side and make a knot, as I show you here. And here you see the result. Then I sewing the replacement part together with the front part. And here I have one centimeter in seam allowance. And these little clamps works really well working with vinyl and leather if you don't want to use needles. And after I made this seam, I make a decorative stitch. Here you see See the decorative stitch. And the last seam you have to do is to sew the back and front side together, front part together. And it's this is the result. This is a good way of just freshening up your boat seat and not upholster the whole seat. A really nice result. I hope you liked this video and um, see you in a later video. Bye!